snow in some spots as we get into early Wednesday morning. So here comes the winter weather, even though we're still in the fall months, but it's getting closer and closer. So as you look at the forecast for tonight, this will be down into the 30s. Highs tomorrow only in the 40s. Okay, Central Mountains, well, it's cold. Temps will be in the 30s. Highs tomorrow, upper 30s to lower 40s. A little cooler than what we see here in the valley, but really not a whole lot more when it comes to cooling down. And you see highs for tomorrow that'll just be above freezing, so you're going to be in for some snow for the West Central Mountains. Here throughout valley locations, 30s for tonight, and then tomorrow, some upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And just to show you what we have here for Boise, low down to 40, 38 for tonight. So most anything coming in, at least for the Boise area, mainly rain throughout the valley. And then tomorrow, temperatures will be coming pretty close to 50 degrees. Now I've got 49 for the high tomorrow. So as showers start to decrease tomorrow, not a bad day on Tuesday. Look for a chance of some showers as we get into Wednesday. The high will be 57. The concern is the low Wednesday morning down to 34 degrees. So some snow mixing in and some spots getting some snow. Mm. After that, we dry up for the rest of the week. Highs right around 50, lows down around freezing. It's going to be a cool week ahead. Look for some changes. Yeah, and I know you're going to have to keep an eye on that trip up north for those Bronco fans that are going to be making that trip probably on Thursday for the Friday game, and you're already starting to work on that. Yeah, we already are, and we're actually going to hear from Coach Pete about, you know, those polls we were talking about earlier in the show. Here what he had to say. Be right back. Monday. An exclusive primetime special. President George W. Bush sits down with Matt Lauer. Let's talk about waterboarding. Then, on a new event, the question on everyone's mind will be answered. Where did her sister go? And on a new chase, how will she catch a fugitive? We've got a Marshall impersonator. That knows all her tricks. Do not move. Matt Lauer with President Bush. New event, new chase, Monday, 8, 7. Many, many more. Plus, for the first time ever, enjoy two, three, even four times points on hundreds of slots. All day, every day. You could say we're raising the bar on slots at Cactus Beats. Looking at the trees, we know it's fall, but it is time to start thinking about winter weather driving. Idahoans go everywhere in all kinds of weather. Make sure you're prepared. Sunday on the News at 10. We'll go over the basics of what you need in your car and what to do if you get stuck. Whether you're new to winter driving or an old pro, now's the time to make sure you're ready. It's Rick's annual winter safety check. News at 10 tonight on Idaho's News Channel 7. Here's some really big news from more about Tempur-Pedic, the most recommended bed in America. For a limited time, save up to $400 on the Tempur-Pedic Ergo Sleep System. That's really big news. Plus, more lets you take until 2015 to pay with no interest financing and free same-day delivery. That's even bigger. Up to $400 savings during this Tempur-Pedic event. Buy now, save now at more Furniture for Less, your Tempur-Pedic source. He's not your ordinary student athlete. For all the guys to accept him for who he is, it's awesome. He gives it his all, and the school that gave him their unconditional love. It's a reminder of what coaching's all about. A sevens hero that will capture your heart. News at 10 tonight. Saturday's 42-7 win over Hawaii was probably the most complete win the Boise State football team has had all season long. The offense racked up a program record 737 yards, and the defense held the nation's top passing attack totally in check. But did the performance make a statement? No, probably not. You know, I think we're the same old Broncos, and I don't know. I mean, I think we played well, but I, you know how it goes on the front you're talking about. Hey, to say it, Coach Pete is right. The Broncos were jumped again in the polls after a victory. TCU is the new number three after a 47-7 win over then fifth-ranked Utah on Saturday. The Utes dropped all the way to 15th. It's the same story in the Harris Poll. The only good news, maybe both Virginia Tech and Nevada are making headway. Stay close. As soon as the newest BCS standings are released around 6.30, we'll be letting you know at KTVB.com. No, Coach Pete said the Broncos weren't making a statement during Saturday's game, but somebody needs to take notice involving the defense. They racked up a total of seven sacks and held the top-ranked passing offense that averages almost 40 yards and 39 points a game to only 151 yards and only seven points. At one point, I think I looked up and they had like zero yards rushing, and I think they probably had negative, but trying to put zero up there. So that's also good when, you know, no rushing yards, and D-line was doing their thing, and 
and back to the secondary, we're just confusing them all game, so it just felt good. I think it just goes back to preparation, uh, you know, being relentless as a D-line, that's what we try to be. Guys that jump out to me are the defense. Uh, it really is. And I think we were clicking, you know, on both sides. But to hold that offense down and get as many sacks as we did, I mean, that was uh, much needed and unexpected. More reaction from the Broncos' win is available right now at KTVB.com. As good as the BSU defense was Saturday, was as bad as the Idaho Vandals' defense performed on the same day. They allowed 844 yards to the nation's second-ranked offense, a record tally for the Wolfpack, and the most yards given up in a single game by an FBS team since 2004. It doesn't get any easier for the Vandals. They host the Broncos and their offense, which ranks fourth best in the country. That will be Friday. Meanwhile, it's week nine of the NFL season, and plenty of players with Idaho ties were in action. Former Idaho State Bengal Jared Allen and the Vikings hosting former Vandal Max Komar and the Cardinals. Brett Favre bringing back the big-time Vikings late in this one would force overtime, and there he goes. There's your game winner. Big win for Minnesota, 27-24 over the Cardinals. How about former Bronco legacy Nene in San Diego visiting the Houston, Texas? No catches for Nene, but Sei Arujo Tutu had five catches for over 100 yards. This score, San Diego wins 29-23 over Houston. Former BSU stud Chris Carr and the Ravens hosting the Dolphins. Carr, five tackles today. Baltimore allows just 10 points, and they win big over Miami, who loses for the first time on the road 26-10. Fruitland native Jordan Gross and the Panthers taking on the defending Super Bowl champion Saints and the Carolina Panthers are not so good and Drew Brees really is. He throws two scores. New Orleans wins big time 34 to 3. Couple Zach's facts. Second ranked BSU wrestling team opened the season with a 33 tell victory over North Idaho College. Also Saturday, the Idaho Steel has defeated Victoria, taking two of three from the Salmon Kings this weekend. And check out some of this video. Wes Welker of the New England Patriots. Hitting the PAT. Nice job by him. But Dominican Sue of the Lions also getting a chance, and he's not doing so good. He misses it off to the side. Both teams end up losing. Never good when you're not using your kickers. Right. I think Wes Welker kicked in high school for his team, yeah. however. Remember so. when Doug Foody had that, that drop I, kick? That I do stuff. remember that. So, wh what's your best guess? Broncos fall in the BCS? Yes. All right. We'll be right back. We vote to make our mark, to shape the future we want to live in. News Channel 7 salutes every Idahoan who took the time to listen, to debate, discuss, think critically, and vote. On air, online, our job was clear, to fully inform your vote as you shape Idaho's future. We've got a problem, Idaho. Idaho ranks in the bottom 10 states for education after high school. Only one in three high school grads goes on. Everybody else left to struggle. Earning 50 cents on the dollar. Not eligible for 61% of new jobs. Undereducated, undertrained, underprepared. Wake up, Idaho. High school is not enough. Tuesday, Idaho's longest-running college basketball rivalry continues. Crusaders versus Yokes. Northwest Nazarene University at College of Idaho. Tuesday night at 7 on 24-7. On the next Dr. Oz Show, your ultimate over-40 survival kit. Y'all ready for this? Rev up your metabolism. What increases your caloric burn. Solve your sex problems. This is the thing that is my secret weapon. Stop aches and pains. This is the best thing ever developed. Lift your drooping butt. Yeah, very simple to do. And boost your memory. Plus, alternative anti-agers from across the country. Can y'all see that? Monday at 3 on News Channel 7. He's not your ordinary student athlete. For all the guys to accept him for who he is, it's awesome. He gives it his all, and the school that gave him their unconditional love. It's a reminder of what coaching's all about. A sevens hero that will capture your heart. News at 10 tonight. Go to KTVB.com Prize Center for your chance to win tickets to Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Wednesday, November 17th at the Taco Bell Arena. Just go to the Prize Center at KTVB.com.
Well, you mentioned the bad weather is straight ahead. A lot of yeah. folks are going to be traveling to Moscow, yeah. and they need to watch your package tonight. Yeah, and you know, within the next month or two, uh, if you're traveling anywhere outside of the state, you're going to be going through mountain passes. So uh, watch tonight. We're going to talk about how you can be prepared for that and how you protect yourself and your family. Okay, we'll have a special report this evening. Also talking about the storm system out to the west. Some lightning in it, some thunderstorms. And it's to our west, and it's going to be moving toward the area, moving quickly with rain. Oh, I miss yesterday. Ooh. We'll see you tonight at 10. Football on NBC with the biggest game, the Manning Bowl, the brightest stars, and the best team only on NBC. 50 years nearly to the day since they played for the first time on this field, two of the league's storied franchises, the Packers and the Cowboys, meet on Sunday night football. They arrive at Lambeau in completely different circumstances. The Cowboys 